Welcome to my channel and today as you can see I am making rabbit snares. All right so I'm going to go out for a trail ride set a couple snares and hopefully get a couple of rabbits. All right so I'm going to show you here how I make my rabbit snares. It's pretty easy and I'm sure a lot of people have different ways of uh, making their snares but just so you know folks this way works. So we're just going to take it, put a little bend in it like so. So this is about what you want your snare. Just a tiny, tiny little loop there on the end. So then I just like to snip this piece off right here. and just unravel and I just go about this length snip it right here snip it right here there you have it just like that thread the needle like this and make like a balloon we don't have any snow yet, but there's definitely beaten down rabbit paths. Well, I gotta say, I didn't wear my mask because I literally have to drive about one more minute. Up. Not the mask, sorry, my helmet. So, that's why I'm keeping the wind off my face. Alright, so it looks like right here we've got a little bunny trail. So it looks like we got a little path right here that the uh, rabbits like to come through. And it looks like maybe one on the left side of me here as well. It looks like there's two right on this uh, area right here. But also I can tell underneath me here there's some uh, droppings for deer. So it looks like this is a favorite spot for the little critters and the big critters. So, I've uh, joined company and uh, went out to check the snares, but this is literally my first time making my own snares. <laughs> but I gotta say, once you do it the first time, pretty easy after that, I think. So I'm gonna wrap it around this one one time. And the distance from the ground should be literally, the bottom of the trap should be literally just around your hand. And I gotta say, I was told by a super smart guy, that would be my dad, that uh, rabbits when they go through uh, these types of areas, they don't like to touch their ears. This this is already set up because he's not going to want to touch his ears on this branch here. He's going to duck and come right through this hole. He is literally forced to go through there. So that's set up. Just need to put some branches here so he doesn't get the idea to maybe come along here. I'm going to fill this in a little. 
There, so just with a couple sticks, he is not. If you don't like his ears touched, no touching of the ears. He definitely won't be t chancing coming through there. There. So now the other side. All right, so what we're doing here is basically building like a tunnel on each side of uh, where the trap is there so he's not going to go to the left or the right because there's no through direction for him to go. So has to go right through there. There, there's that one. So as you can see, there's uh, red tape markings around there, but on the left and the right, where I just put those uh, bushes, you can see the green bushes there. So you can tell that from the road and even from the car window on the way in or on our way out, you can just uh, easily see if there's a rabbit in that snare. All right, those snares are set, fingers crossed, for a rabbit tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the cabin. I've got water here in the bottle. I'm putting, putting a thermos on my list because it would be great on this chilly day to have a hot drink. So back to the cabin and uh, these feet are cold. I need an extra pair of socks. Guys, can you see what I see? I cannot believe it. Heading home this morning. Come with me, check this out. Woohoo! Got a rabbit to take home. Check this guy out. Oh, he's so soft. Wow. I'd say it had to be an early morning catch because he's still a little warm. Oh! That totally worked! This is wrapped around good. I think the reason why it's so tight is no doubt this guy tried to get away, as they all do, but yeah. <sighs> He's a good size, I gotta say! He is a good size. Wow. All right, guys. One thing I got to say, seeing I'm not coming back for about a week or so, these traps have to go up because I do not want any critters to get caught in these traps and actually rot and sit here for days, pointless harvesting. So I always hook the traps up so nothing gets caught while I'm away. But on that note, I'll be signing off. Woohoo! But I am taking this guy home. Yay! Click that subscribe button. Bunny says click that subscribe button and hit the like. It's a great video. I'm pretty excited. Bye!